We open now for the second time to Luke 2. Yesterday we read of Jesus' birth, of the angel's announcement to the shepherds, and of Jesus being presented in the temple, which is where we pick up the story today. Luke 2, starting at verse 25. At that time there was a man named Simeon living in Jerusalem. He was a good, God-fearing man, and he was waiting for Israel to be saved. The Holy Spirit was with him, and had assured him that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's promised Messiah. Led by the Spirit, Simeon went into the temple. When the parents brought the child Jesus into the temple to do for him what the law required, Simeon took the child in his arms and gave thanks to God. Now, Lord, you have kept your promise and you may let your servant go in peace. With my own eyes I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light to reveal your will to the Gentiles and bring glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at the things Simeon said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, the child's mother, This child is chosen by God for the destruction and the salvation of many in Israel. He will be a sign from God which many people will speak against and so reveal their secret thoughts. And sorrow like a sharp sword, will break your own heart. There was a very old prophet, a widow named Anna, daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She had been married for only seven years and was now eighty-four years old. She never left the temple. Day and night she worshipped God, fasting and praying. That very same hour she arrived and gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were waiting for God to set Jerusalem free. When Joseph and Mary had finished doing all that was required by the law of the Lord, they returned to their hometown of Nazareth in Galilee. The child grew and became strong, He was full of wisdom, and God's blessings were upon him. Every year the parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. When Jesus was twelve years old, they went to the festival as usual. When the festival was over, they started back home, but the boy Jesus stayed in Jerusalem. His parents did not know this. They thought that he was with the group, So they traveled a whole day and then started looking for him among their relatives and friends. They did not find him, so they went back to Jerusalem looking for him. On the third day they found him in the temple, sitting with the Jewish teachers, listening to them and asking questions. All who heard him were amazed at his intelligent answers. His parents were astonished when they saw him, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been terribly worried trying to find you. He answered them, Why did you have to look for me? Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand his answer. So Jesus went back with them to Nazareth, where he was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. Jesus grew both in body and in wisdom, gaining favor with God and people. Let me start us out in prayer today. Our God, we pray to you. You are the Lord of heaven's armies, the ruler of the universe our awesome and sovereign God. We thank you for this wonderful book of Psalms that we've started today. 
We pray, Lord, that we would not get sucked into the world's system and the world's thoughts. That we will reject the advice of evil people and that we won't follow the example of sinners or join with those who have no use for you, O Lord God. Let us instead find joy in obeying your laws, including all of your word. And may we find joy in studying it and reflecting upon it day and night. Thank you, Lord, that this will not be in vain, but we will become like trees that grow by a stream, and we will bear fruit spiritual fruit, at the right time. You will give us success in everything we do. What a promise! Lord, thank you for Christ, who has made us righteous in your sight. And therefore, Lord, we look forward to being guided and protected by you. I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would help us, that we could remember and think deeply about your word.